Welcome to Namastar course. This video will introduce you how to set system redundancy in Nova LCT software. Before we start, let's think about one question. Why we need to set the redundancy? This is the system structure. Normally, there is only one channel from the video source to the processor, to the controller, and the receiving cards. But what will happen if the data channel is broken? All the rest of the screen will be blacked out, because there is no data goes into the cabinets behind. Don't worry, the redundancy can help here. If no data comes from the main channel, all these receiving cards will get the signal from the backup channel automatically and the switch is so fast that nobody will notice it. When do we set the redundancy? The redundancy settings are usually the last step of the screen configuration. After the LED screen has been configured, the entire screen can display the video source normally, and the system redundancy settings can be performed at this time. How many situations we have when setting redundancy? 1. Redundancy settings between output ports mostly used for low-resolution screens to prevent black screen problems when the network cable is disconnected. 2. Redundancy settings between sending controllers, mostly used for high-resolution screens to prevent black screen issue when network cable communication error or video signal cable disconnection. A. Dual Sending Controller Cascaded B. Dual Sending Controller Non-Cascaded In my demo, the resolution of a single cabinet is 192 by 192. The screen is 2 columns and 3 rows. The total resolution is 384 by 576. Okay, let's take a look at how to set up redundancy for these cases one by one. 1. Redundancy settings between output ports. Open Nova LCT software. Click User and select the Advanced Synchronous System User Login. The password is Admin. Click View Detail of a Device, and we will know there is a VX6S connected to this system. Click Screen Configuration, Go Next. Get into the Sending Card Setting Interface. Click Add from the Redundancy setting area. Tap the corresponding relationship at the pop-up Redundancy settings window. The serial number of the primary and backup sending card is the same, default 1. If the port 2 will be the backup of the port 1, just type 2. Add the serial number of the backup port. Click Add and close this window. Click Send and save it. The redundancy setting between output ports is finished. 2a. Redundancy settings between two cascaded sending controllers. After advanced login, click View Detail of a Device, and we will know there are two pieces of a VX6S connected to this system. Just one communication port means they are cascaded. 
click Screen Configuration. Go next. Get into the Selling Card Setting Interface. Click Add from the Redundancy Setting Area. Tap the corresponding relationship at the pop-up Redundancy Settings window. This time, we need Type 2 at the serial number of backup sending card. If we use the port 1 of the second VX6X to be the backup port of the first VX6S port 1, then we tap 1 in both blanks. Same principle if we have more output ports being used. Close the window, click Send and click Save. The redundancy setting between two cascaded sending controllers is finished. 2B Redundancy settings between two non-cascaded sending controllers. After advanced login, click View Detail of Device, and we will know there are two pieces of VX6S connected to this system. There are two communication ports in the list, means these two sending controllers are controlled separately. Click Screen Configuration, select the first COM port, go Next. Get into the sending card setting interface. This time, we need to take the Set as Primary option at the redundancy setting area. It is not finished. We need to go to the Screen Connection tab. Click Save to File. Here, we name it as Demo and save it on my desktop. Now back to the main interface. Click Screen Configuration. Select the second COM port. Go Next. Get into the Screen Connection interface. Load from File and browse the demo.scr. Send and save it. Then back to the sending card interface. Take the Set as Backup option. And save again. The redundancy settings between two non cascaded sending controllers is finished. Except the software settings. We can also finish redundancy settings with hardware. Use the knob and the front panel to find the redundancy setting menu. Set the first sending controller as primary and second sending controller as backup. Two sending controllers need to have the same screen mapping. Okay, that's all for the redundancy settings. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.